Hi, I'm James, this is Molten Make, and today we're going to turn this frame that I welded up a while ago into a proper stand for my mill. I've had my mill for probably a year, but it's never quite been right. Now, this is a frame that I tacked up a little while ago, more of practice on my MIG welding, which is, it's okay, it's getting there. But at some point I want to make it into a new frame, and I think today that's what I'm going to do. The mill's currently on a stand with wheels on, which is great for moving it about, but it's not very stable. I'd much rather have it on something that's compatible with a pallet jack, like my planer or my bandsaw. So that's what I'm going to make. One of the problems is it's just not high enough. I kind of want it to be somewhere around here, so this much. I had to know how wide my pallet jack was, and also how wide the frame was going to be. After that, I could start making the frame itself, and I used these feet with adapters that fit into square tube, which I already had, and I'd use for most of my workbenches. Now, they fit into the end of some metal tube, which you can see here. It was then just a case of cutting the tube so that they'd fit the feet, and I'd already measured, but you know they say, measure twice, cut once. The difficulty cutting box section or tube on a bandsaw like this is that when it gets to the thin walled section, the blade speeds up and it can often catch and break teeth. Now what you should do is adjust the downfeed rate on your hydraulic cylinder to make sure it doesn't happen. Or it does happen anyway, because your cylinder is still attached to the bench, not your bandsaw. And this is a little mistake I made. It wasn't a measure twice, cut once. It was a measure twice, cut once, remeasure, realize you made a mistake and then do the same thing again. But hey, it worked out in the end and here I am just tacking the frame together. For those of you that are curious, this is my Clark 135TE MIG welder, which I bought when I was about 14 and tried to learn to weld with it. Hey, maybe I need some more practice still. Oh, okay, so frame's welded up. Got to put the feet on. And what I noticed that they're actually while I've designed this so that when these are at their maximum depth inside here, to make sure that they clear the pallet jack, when they're all the way out, it's only about the same height, maybe a few centimeters more than my current stand, which is a little bit disappointing, but hey, it's still gonna work and it's been working well as it is, so let's crack on. And when you're holding one of these, everything looks like a nail. These inserts are a little bit tight, but in a way that works really well because it means you can hit them in, leaving you with a nice snug fit. I've just got an off cut of steel, clamp on top, and then that's my measure for the other legs. The idea being that it's much easier to set them at the same height now than it is later on when I put the mill on top. Here it is, all finished. It took a lot of effort to try and get this thing onto the stand, so I'm sorry that's why I didn't film it. But what I would like to know is what you think I should do with the sides. I've got a bit more space there and it's not painted yet, so I can weld more things on, I can put drawers, but I really want to hear what you think, so leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. It makes such a difference to small channels like mine if you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, and it lets me know that you appreciate me putting these things out. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Click up here for one of my old videos. I'll see you around.